The film starts with two guards from security company Fortico on the job, when a cement truck pulls in ahead of them. Out steps a gunman, along with the rest of his team as they begin to attack the truck. They force the guards outside as they start pulling the money bags out of the truck, but gunshots are heard in the midst of the chaos. Three months after the incident, a man named Patrick Hill is starting his first day on the job with Fortico. He is trained by Bullet who gives him the name H, and introduced to other guards like Boy Sweat Dave, who is antagonistic with him. Their manager Terry mentions the previous truck incident, wherein the two guards, plus a civilian were killed. Another guard also attempts to rile H up when he learns that H is replacing him, but H is calmly able to get the man to leave without a confrontation. H is out on a job with Dave when they are forced by armed robbers to stop for them since they have Bullet captive. Dave is frightened and thinks they shouldn't do what they say, but for Bullet's sake, they do. They have H throw the money bags into the back of a pickup, but he purposely drops one off the truck. When one of the gunmen steps out, H throws a bag but then quickly shoots the man in the head. He proceeds to open fire on all the gunmen before chasing the leader, Post Malone, through the nearby building. He manages to corner him and blow his brains out. H's actions on the job are met with scrutiny by Terry, but Fortico CEO Blake Halls commends him and thinks he should be promoted. The other guards applaud his heroics as well. H is called in to review footage of the previous truck robbery to see if any of the gunmen in the video seemed familiar to him during the recent robbery. H has his eye on one specific gunman, but he tells the others that nothing appears familiar. The two agents are then shown to be working for an agent named King, as he thinks H will lead him and his guys to the crew responsible for the first robbery. Another attempted robbery takes place with the crooks attempting to smoke H and Dave out of the truck. However, when H steps out and reveals his face, the gunmen appear to recognize him and promptly retreat. Bullet knows this and thinks there is more to H, calling him a dark effing spirit. H sleeps with a guard named Dana, but when he finds a stack of money in her apartment, he interrogates her and learns that she recovered some of that money illegally from a previous job. Five months earlier, H was with his son Dougie, who is visiting the States while on holiday. H gets a call from his former criminal employer, Mike, who was also the leader of the group that ran away from him. Mike asks H for help with one last job, but he need not be directly involved. H drives with Dougie near the docks where the robbery is set to take place, only telling Mike which way the truck is heading. As H is getting food for himself and Dougie, the cement truck guys show up to pull off the robbery. One of the gunmen orders Dougie out of the van. H sees what is happening and runs to his son, but a gunman with a scar near his eye, shoots and kills Dougie before H can save him, and he shoots H repeatedly as well. H is in a coma for nearly three weeks before recovering and being told Dougie is dead. He meets with ex-wife Jane, who blames H for the death of their son. He later meets with Mike and his cohorts, who all feel some responsibility for what happened to Dougie and agree to help H look for the men responsible. The group interrogates one team violently until they give up the name of some criminal brothers. H is led to a building where the brothers keep women as hormone slaves. With nothing else to go by, H kills the brothers and has the men free the women. After H starts working at Fortico, he takes note of the guards working there, which is why he asked Kirsty to get him some files, they are background checks on the guards, plus an autopsy report on Doogie's death. We meet the crew responsible for the first robbery, led by a man named Jackson. In his employment are Carlos, Sam, Tom, Brad, and Jan, the latter being the one who killed Dougie and shot H. They are seen planning the truck robbery during a party for one of Jackson's kids. The crew goes off onto the robbery, noticing H and Dougie pull in. During the robbery, Sam orders Dougie out of the van and to get on the floor. Jan goes off the rails and shoots the two guards dead. When he notices Dougie having seen him, he shoots him dead before shooting H. Following the aftermath of that heist, the crew is planning their next and final robbery, a score of over $150 million to be split between them and their man on the inside, Bullet. Jackson and Tom go over the plan weeks in advance. They are both concerned over Jan, knowing his behavior of going off plan, but Jackson is confident that in the end, he will follow orders. The crew proceeds to head over to Fortico, where Bullet confesses to H that he is the inside man that tells the crews which trucks to hit. Jackson's crew commences the robbery, and with Bullet's cover blown, he kills Dana and another guard before killing Dave. H manages to get a few of Jackson's men, but Bullet shoots him and incapacitates him. Before they drive away, H gets a good look at Jan and recognizes him as Doogie's killer. Police head in on the scene and battle the robbers. Amidst the chaos, Jackson is shot in the neck while riding with Jan and Bullet. When they have to abandon the truck, Jan finishes Jackson off by slitting his throat. After Bullet realizes Jan is a traitor, he attempts to kill him, only for Jan to act first and blow Bullet's brains out. 
He proceeds to make off with all the loot in tow. Sometime later, Jan is planning to get away when he receives a phone call. H then appears behind him and throws him Doogie's autopsy report, which reads that he was shot in his liver, lungs, spleen, and heart. H then proceeds to shoot Jan in those exact places, making sure to save the heart for last. He leaves the apartment and is met by King, assuring him that the job is done and that he can presumably recover the stolen money. H then gets in a car with another man and drives away. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, so you can watch more movies like this. Thanks for watching.